Yesterday, the owner of this brand new set of Eddie Motorsports door handles dropped them off and said, can you please make this recess go away? So what we're gonna do today is fill in this recess with aluminum weld, metal finish it, and make it look like it was never there. So if you're into metal finishing videos, this is gonna be the one that you're not gonna wanna miss. Grab a drink, sit back, relax, welcome to the shop, let's get our hands dry. Rocking and rolling now. We got a nice little ball on the end of my tungsten, which is nice to see when you're welding aluminum. This little torch is about at its max right now. This is a little PTW 20. Really need a bigger torch and probably an eighth inch tungsten. I'm also running through this rod really, really, really fast. All right, so I discovered a few things on our little test run here. I'm gonna have to run a bead up top here first because the material is thick. The material under this portion has been milled on the backside for your fingers. So I'm gonna have to run this bead first, let it cool down and then run a bead on the bottom. And uh, hopefully not taco this door handle. I tacoed it a little bit with the, with my plates here and here, it actually, the door handle actually melted up, kind of like shifted up like this. So I'm gonna try and run this bead without any force on the sides of the door handle so it doesn't wanna bend up like this as the metal heats up. So let's see, let's see what happens, guys. What would you do? How many amps would you run on this handle? I'm running 90 amps right now. I might try and turn that down a little bit <clears throat> because of what just happened it's pretty common when you are uh when you are fabricating to have to kind of realign your vector while you're fabricating because of what your workpiece is presenting to you all right let's go
So now we're playing Chase the Inclusion game, which I knew was gonna happen. We've got inclusions around on the base of this handle. If this next step doesn't go the right way, we could ruin this whole handle. So hopefully we can make it happen. All right, we're getting really close now. What I've started doing off camera is putting a chamfer back in the piece also. So I'm holding it at a correct angle. Well guys, this recess is gone. If you find it, let me know and I'll come back over here and weld it up. This handle's done, but the next step, that's where things are really gonna get interesting. You know, all of us here love getting into these details with you guys. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, show us a little bit of love. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. We'll see you on the next one.